Chess was invented in India about 1500 years ago. The rules of the game haven't changed since it was created. Its geography was expanded and the number of admirers has grown. The game from the East soon conquered Europe. In the 19th century, international matches began to be held there. The first official World Chess Championship took place in 1948. Over time, this intellectual game was recognized as a sport in more than 100 countries, including Ukraine. In 1999, chess received the status of an official sport from the International Olympic Committee. However, chess has not yet been put into the Olympic program. A separate chess Olympiad is held. The heroine of our program, Yulia Osmak, became vice champion in 2018 as part of the Ukrainian team. Animal – Jungarian hamster Eye color – brown Favorite color – golden pink Favorite season – Spring In the family of Yulia Osmak from Kyiv, intellectual games have always been their favorite pastime. Mom was involved professionally in draws. Dad and both grandfathers were fond of playing chess. Yulia was a witness of their exciting games. We had two grandfathers who played chess very excitedly against each other. My husband would stand over them, because he was forbidden to play with gambling grandfathers and had a child in his arms. The child hung onto his arm and watched how chess is played. And then she became interested. Grandfather moved the figures. She moved them too. It was more interesting than dolls. And grandfather taught Yulia to play chess at the age of three. The girl was a quick learner, so it was a pleasure to work with her. Dolls, bears and cubes gathered dust in a corner. Chess figures were the main characters in Yulia's games. I have liked the horse piece, also known as the knight, since childhood. It was my favorite figure. I even invented my own game. Don't take the horses, meaning you could take all the pieces, but the horses had to remain. At one moment, I realized that this game was for me. When our heroine was five years old, her parents decided that it was time for her to start playing chess with a professional trainer. Mom brought Yulia to the sports palace, where she once studied herself. Леонид Леонидович, такой. Ну, он спрашивает, говорит, вы знаете, что у нас... The coach said she was too small, as she had to be at least seven years old. At that time, Yulia was five years old. Moreover, they didn't want to train girls. She played just one game of chess, and he decided to take her. Особенно хотят брать. Вот. Ну, ладно. Давайте приведите. Посмотрим, что... Она только сыграла с ним немного, все, он тут же берет ее. Дело в том, что там ребята, в основном они старше ее, выше такие, она маленькая, но... The fact was that the guys that were mostly older than her certainly taller. Some of the guys were scared and didn't want to play against her as they didn't want to lose. And this board, which was presented to me by my first coach, is very comfortable. Big figures. This is a king. A black king. A queen, a knight, a rook, white, pawns. The habit of winning relaxed our heroine a little. She decided that if she can easily beat the older guys, then she did not need to work very hard in training. I wanted to play in the yard with my friends and not sit at the chessboard for many hours. The first life lesson that Yulia remembers was her failure at her debut chess championship in Ukraine. The first time I went to the under 10th championship of Ukraine, I was 8. I got 19th place there. My game was bad. I saw how the awards were presented to everyone and understood that no one would give me an award. And it was such a moment that, on the one hand, it seemed offensive for me, but on the other hand, I decided to work hard to achieve the best results. That was a motivating factor for me, that if others can do it, I can do it too. In the same year, I took part in the under 8 championship of Ukraine and won it.
This is my first chess computer. I didn't have a chess base, and I played with it. When I was eight years old, I got it after winning my first championship of Ukraine. Here you can arrange chess, you can change a position, there are figures, and the computer counts this position, and it describes the move on the screen. И компьютер чувствует эту позицию, и он пишет на экране ход, которым он тебе отвечает. И And this was my first computer opponent. I played many games. Компьютер. А я с ним наигрывала многие партии. At the age of 10, Yulia Osmak became the vice champion of Europe in her age category. At the age of 12, she repeated her silver success at the Continental Championship, losing only to her rival from Russia, and dreamt of taking revenge on her at the World Championship. Тогда... Мы с ней набрали по 8 очков из 9, то есть я проиграла только ей, она проиграла только... Then we took 8 points out of 9. I lost only to her. She also lost only one game. But at that moment I didn't have enough to become champion. When I went to the World Championships, I wanted to get first place, because I wasn't so lucky at the European Championships. Мне повезло на чемпионате Европы, и хотелось, как бы, чтобы на чемпионате мира все вышло. I really wanted to win at the World Championships. It so happened that in the last round I played against this girl, won the decisive game and became world champion. It was real success. The chess prestige of an entire country lay on the fragile shoulders of a 12-year-old girl, the media wrote. And our heroine was very worried that the title of world champion would change her life for the worse. I thought that when I became world champion, children would no longer want to talk to me and be friends with me. I even cried. After nine years, this interview makes Yulia smile, but at that time it was really scary and disturbing. I thought that when you achieve some results, then you move to another level, and it seems to you that people will only talk to you because of your achievements. Вот ты переходишь на какой-то другой что ли уровень, ну вот не знаю, и тебе кажется, что люди будут с тобой общаться только из-за твоих достижений и не будут видеть какой то человек. They will not see what kind of person you are. I thought that they would not notice me, only my achievements. But then I realized that this was probably not the case. Не будут меня видеть за моими достижениями. Но потом я быстро поняла, что, наверное, это не так. Dream in sports. Becoming male grandmaster and world champion. Love, mutual understanding. Happiness. Love and self-improvement. In 2016, our heroine became a woman grandmaster. A year later, she fulfilled the norm of a male international master. Now her sporting dream is to become a male grandmaster. Today, Yulia Osmak is 72nd in the International Chess Federation women's ranking and 5th in Ukrainian chess ranks. In 2018, together with sisters Anna and Maria Muzichuk, Anna Ushenina and Natalia Zhukova, Yulia Osmak became a silver medalist of the Chess Olympiad in Batumi. She played six games in the tournament. It was my first Olympiad. We had a very cool team. The team consisted of five people. I was the reserve player. The teams were from Ukraine, Georgia, Russia, China, India, and a few more teams that are just fighting. And you feel this tension that everyone wants to win. These are the emotions of the fight. You feel responsibility as you enter the hall and you can feel it all. At the Stars of Sports 2018 ceremony, where the Sports Committee of Ukraine traditionally awards the best representatives of non-Olympic sports, the women's chess team won the Team of the Year nomination. Our heroine received a statuette from her teammates. In addition to the award, won at her debut chess Olympiad, a gift from the competition organizers reminds Yulia of this every day. And this is my board, which was presented to me at the chess Olympiad, my first Olympiad, where we won silver. В моей первой Олимпиаде, там, где мы взяли серебро. Этим она для меня и памятна. It is very convenient for taking it to a tournament, as it is light. На турниры, она легкая. И очень удобные фигуры. Большая. You know, I've been practicing plays on it more and more often recently.
black pieces, now white ones. Every chess player is a bit of a psychologist. The opponent demonstrates her mood in the game. More experienced players try to hide their emotional state, but it can be seen through the chess moves made. There are rivals who play in a more cowardly way. There are bluffs. Some play confidently, some go on the attack, though they do not always come off. Each opponent has their own style, and this is why you can also foresee their actions. I often had rivals whom I could simply predict the majority of their moves and behavior. Yulia has learned since childhood to confront more experienced and stronger rivals, to take on a psychological battle against them. Once at one of the tournaments, her counterpart was in no hurry to start the game, but sat and stared at her in the face. The girls were just sitting there and looking at each other. The game was not starting. Yulia stares at her thinking, what does she want? She's staring at Yulia, waiting for her to start. So Yulia found a way of solving this little problem. She got up and started walking around. This freaked her out, and this is how they began to play. Favorite writer – Zweig. Favorite movie – The Taming of the Scoundrel. Music – Nautilus. The average chess game lasts four to five hours, and sometimes even six. Therefore, a professional chess player cannot do without physical exertion. In order to sit and think like this, a kind of endurance is needed. And endurance is best trained by physical exertion, so the better your sport and fitness, the more you'll be able to endure. You need to concentrate throughout the whole game, and you need to keep the positions of pieces in your sight all the time. I do exercises every morning. I try to run as much as possible. Or when there is a gym at a tournament, I visit it or swim. I love cycling a lot. Yulia Osmak is a student of Taras Shevchenko Kiev National University, Institute of High Technologies. She studied to be a biologist, but she adds her main profession is chess. She likes biology a lot, likes to share her knowledge with her younger sister Olena. She's the only one in the family who did not fall under the magic spell of chess, but is involved in karate. Our heroine is writing a book in her free time. It's a mixed plot, a little bit of a detective novel and about love and part fiction and somewhere psychologically realistic. There is a bit of everything there. I wouldn't say it has a particular style, as there are some elements from each style. She's been writing children's books since childhood. We also write collectively, reread once again. Not such an easy thing to do as it turns out. I think we will finish it sometime, and it will be all published. Favorite food – New Zealand crepe lamb curry. Can cook – French meat. Favorite drink – hot chocolate. Grandpa Volodymyr, Yulia's first coach, knows everything about his granddaughter's success and is very proud of her. At the age of 87, he mastered the internet to watch Yulia's matches at tournaments. Though he cannot win the game with his granddaughter, but he cannot deny the pleasure of playing a game with her. Now I have a better position, a one position, because I have extra material. And I have to win this game. Grandfather will say that it's impossible for me to play with her. It's not interesting because it's one-sided. There is no chance at all. The game is lost. There is no chance here of either a draw or stalemate. So I finished the game. The fact is that I have not played her for a long time, and it's simply no longer interesting for me.
Chess Day takes place annually on July 20th. Yulia Smak holds a session of simultaneous games in Kiev's Shevchenko Park. She holds similar sessions in the art gallery. She says she likes to play against various rivals, and such events are a reason to wear beautiful clothes. I try to be dressed perfectly at a chess match, better than when attending university. A game is the place where I must be beautiful all the time. If you see that you look beautiful, then it gives you some kind of confidence during play. Looking nice is not a distraction. On the contrary, when you're playing and see that you don't look nice, it can knock you off your stride. The playing style of modern chess player and Norwegian grandmaster Magnus Carlsen attracts Julia's attention. At the same time, she can't figure out her own style of play. Many people think that I'm a dynamic player, some think that I'm a strategic player. It really depends on how my opponent plays, what my mood is for this game, what kind of form I am in. Sometimes I want to go on the attack, and sometimes I want to play strategically. I play differently. I would not call myself offensive or defensive. When we talk about a woman grandmaster, the imagination for some reason comes up with a sort of boring, bookish woman, constantly thinking about chess combinations. Our heroine breaks this stereotype completely. She's an attractive, sociable, romantic girl. She's inquisitive too. Chess has opened up a whole world for her, where she's the queen. <laughs>